What's up guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back. Uh, I accidentally summoned him. Um, Death Trap! ATTACK! I said attack! Hey, he has those things! He's not, like, completely regular anymore. What? Oh, we gotta respect! We gotta s Attack! There we go. We gotta respect! Let's go. That means you're going bye-bye, right? I would think so. Bye, buddy. Alright, since I'm not like that stupid melee macro anymore, let's uh let's get right down to business here. Oh, we're in there, and that puts me a little bit back on here, but that's that's okay. It it doesn't even matter. So, um yeah, we're going to wildlife exploitation preserve today. And that's on the agenda there. And uh hit the loot midgets on the way. But, um, what was, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, looking for that exact. Here it is. Let's go. Wait a second. Was that on par with my level? Okay, I was about to say. What did I, well, I saw something that was on par. That, 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 that was it. Huh. Alright. Well, why are we here? Um... Uh, what? Um, overlooks better than that. I guess I haven't hit the bridge over there yet. I'm surprised. That's a word. That will always be a word. It will be a word forever and ever, ever. No, I won't start breaking in the song now. I'll spare you guys that injustice. But yeah. Yeah, last episode, we, uh, completed Scarlet's DLC, and I will be probably going back there a little bit later. I probably should hit the, uh, the treasure room again, to be honest, but I kind of want to get caught up in the main story a little bit more. Um, either way, the weapons will still be decent, so it, it doesn't even matter. I, I was going to make that reference again, but I decided no, not three episodes in a row. We're not doing that. Come on, keep your references, uh... New Flare J. Come on. Let's space him out a bit. At least. At least. I see the bridge and the thousand guts. Or something like that. Now, um... Where is it at? Yeah, it's up there, I think. Yeah, and it leads up there into a cave and leads back there to wildlife exploitation. Yeah, I remember. Because from the wildlife exploitation preserve, you can, in fact, see opportunity. So definitely isn't too far like on like the world map or anything it's it's literally right there outside like right past the mountain so let's go I ignoring all the stalkers there how op am i for these stalkers let me see yeah i'd consider it 2 xp yeah pretty pretty op pretty op oh well doesn't even matter i i almost did it again guys i almost did it i won't do it i'm not going to do it no worry. No worries. Be happy now. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to see anything really worth picking up for a while. Unless, you know, something party drops from the loot midgets, then... That's the only way I see anything. Oh, he's slagged. Oh, yeah, I forgot Mordecai. Hi, Mordecai, how you doing? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna lose some important to you, <laughs> and it's gonna, it's gonna suck for you, you know, that, that's terrible, Flair J, bad, bad, I don't know, in most stories, I just want everyone and everything to die, unless I really like the characters that much, but like in this game, I really can't think of a character that I mind dying, to be honest, unless, you know, it's the... The Vault Hunters we play as, to be honest. Like, I, I wouldn't mind if Brick died, Mordecai died. Lilith, maybe Lilith a little bit, I don't know. Maybe just a little, I'd be like, oh no, Lilith. But if it was like Gage, or Maya, or Zero, or Sal, or Krieg, I would, I would probably be like, oh no. And if there's like a Borderlands 3 and we can't play as as uh, these characters, then, um, wow, I ran right past. Then, um, uh... You guys are probably yelling, Flare Jay, turn around! Or like in your head, you're like, 
face palm flare today. That's like the 31st. Yeah, the 31st freaking face palm you made me do this week. It's like, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. As I was talking, as, as I was saying, it may sound heartless, really, but I don't know. In this game, I could definitely say that I could care less about all the characters, to be honest. I, really, nobody. Um, maybe if Tina died, that'd be a little different. Because, you know, oh, a little girl died, oh, why, oh, oh, no. But really, I can't say there's anybody. I'd be, Claptrap, though, I'd be devastated if he died. I know a lot of people hate Claptrap. They do. But if he died, I would just break down. Be like, no, my master's dead. Whose minion am I going to be now? And don't say yours, because it's not going to happen. All right. Flarians don't have masters. Unless it's Claptrap. But yeah, in this game, I really care less about the characters, to be honest. And when I was mentioning uh, the playable characters and how I'd be sad if they were died, I hope you noticed the fact that I left out Axton. <laughs> I really wouldn't care. I, to be honest, I'd be I'd be like I'd probably be sadder if his turret died. Than if he was to die, to be honest. Oh the turret, you're more useful. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's a, that's a little bit too far. You and your gentleman's Corinthian. You never land a headshot though, so why do you have a gentleman's prefix on it? <laughs> Yeah, you could get Mordecai's sniper rifle in game. Yep, it's just a basic purple weapon. Gentleman's Corinthian. If you find the one with the exact parts, I believe that one's pure Mali one. I didn't really look. Actually, no, it's not, because it had a Jacob Spear on the first place. So I don't know. If you look at it, get the right parts. You could have his exact sniper rifle. Not the one that explodes though. That is not available to us unless someone knows how to do some hardcore modding. But we talked about modding already, I think. I think, yeah. Was that last episode? episode? I don't know. Something like that. I talked about modding at some point. Screw your unauthorized access. But, you know, once I, boost, I boosted my commando up to like level, what was it? 30? No, not even 30. I think, it was like, I think it was like level 50 or something. I don't know if it was my zero or my commando. Back then I didn't like zero either very much, but I really like him now. I think it was Axon though. He was like level 50 or 60 something. I don't know. And I was running through the game, running through normal mode with him. And this was like, I, there, there was no way I could wound these guys. There was no possible way. Even if I picked up like one of their weapons, I would just like kill them. And that's what I realized I could just keep killing until they, uh, until the door opens and you get unique dialogue. We can do that now if you guys want. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but if you kill them all, some of you probably know from Baru's video. I knew it beforehand, but whatever. Um, you can just can, you can kill them all, and you um, and you can't use this as like like an infinite enemy XP pool type thing. It won't work that way. Uh, eventually, gear. Eventually, the game will be like, uh, no, no, no more exploodles for you. You gotta, you gotta move on. So I'm just gonna kill every single one of them just to show you guys the unique dialogue. Cause oh, why not? Some of you may have never heard it. Some of you may have never known. Some of you are probably like, no, move on. I don't want to watch this any longer than I have to. <laughs> and that's, that'd be messed up. <laughs> is this pure Mally one? I don't think so. No, the stock is not Mally one. And neither is the grip. The barrel is, though, and the sight is, so. And obviously the body is. Just wound him. Mordecai's getting all frustrated. Screw you, Morty. You're next on the death list. Yep, see? Just open it up. I don't know if you heard the dialogue there. Oh, here it is. <laughs> he just like, he dove! <laughs> the, explo the explosion made him freaking dive. Oh, we could, you, go for it. Forget about you. You're useful. In this playthrough, at least. Yeah, I'm kind of OP. My melee. Melee him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pop him once. I punch Lindley! Oh, no. I want to go in there for no reason whatsoever. Let's fight through all these enemies. I remember first time playing the game.
how I'd be a little bit more careful about this and not just go rushing in full throttle. Now it's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. It's it's okay. That's cool though. Imagine like like being able to do this when the game first came out. Some of you may may have. Who knows? I don't know. I don't care. But um, yeah, I took my time with it. But imagine you just go beasting through the game in your first ever loot play. You're like, oh my god, this got pro. This got pro. But uh, then again, I am four levels above, but still. Still, it is normal mode. Ammer. I got some ammer. Let's look down here. Because curiousness. And it would still be good. Even if I get something, it would still be kind of good. Oh, it's a relic. What do you know? Oh, never mind. Not good. The iridium's nice, though. Iridium made it worth it. I like me some erodium. Erodium. The Gearbox has attempted to make more uses for it. It hasn't gone too well. It really hasn't. Just like a lot of people always say, just let us use iridium to level up our weapons. And that wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Of course it wouldn't. How much iridium would it cost, though, for one level? I think 500 for one level. That sounds crazy. The amount of farming you'd have to do just to get up one level. I'd probably say about 150 iridium for one level of a gun. I say I think that's somewhat fair because you don't want to do like 10 level 10 iridium for a level because that's that's super easy. You would just keep leveling up your favorite gun with you with no real work whatsoever, and only use that gun throughout the entire game. Oh well. What else could be used? What else could iridium be used for? I'm listening to Jack. I don't need to listen to Jack. Oh, did we get Pomona and Tumba? When I first saw this Easter egg, I was so happy. I was like, oh, yay, Disney Easter egg. And then I'm like, oh, no, I have to freaking kill them. My childhood is ruined. Are you around? I don't think they're around. Oh. Come on out. Nah, they're not coming. They ain't coming, guys. I don't know, use this for iridium. What else could be could be pretty nice to do with iridium? Huh. Maybe you could like pay iridium to take parts off of certain guns of the same rarity and uh put them on another gun. Like let's say you want a perfect like unkept herald or something, but let's say like your infinity has the tor grip and your herald has like the freaking TDR grip well you can pay iridium to swap the grips and it, and yeah TDR is TDR grip even possible on a flat off? I don't think so because it doesn't even have re reload speed so that may be a problem but imagine like you could store weapon parts you could like take weapons apart and build them in game without having to use gibbed but they'd have to be of the same rarity and the same level I, don't, I think that'd be pretty cool Get like a little workshop going on in the back of Marcus's or something. Or the back of like Crazy Earl's. Did you, some of you may know, some of you may not know. Behind, uh, when you, like behind Crazy Earl's, uh, shop, if you get back there, only his head is there. He has no body. He, he's just a floating head. And it is hilarious to look at. He's just sta wet ready, staring out the window. Randy Pitchford's alter ego is only a floating head. In case you didn't know, yes, Randy Pitchford uh, voices Crazy Earl, which I didn't believe when I first heard it either, but, uh, oh well. I'm really just blazing through this right now. Well, not really blazing, because I'm not using fire, but fire weapons probably wouldn't be all that great. Let's see. This is a pimpernel. <laughs> I can just use my pimpernel. It doesn't even matter. That, that's how OP the pimpernel is. Nice. Pimpa a nail. Pimpa a nail. You guys are probably like, oh no! Fire! Unloaders! What are you doing, Flare J? To be honest, fire would hurt metal. It would do less damage to metal. I don't know where they got that from. It shouldn't have a debuff. It should just do no bonus damage. <laughs> to be honest. I understand corrosion doing bonus damage through metal. I do. 
You know, in Pokemon, uh, fire is super effective against steel. So, I see where that came from. Fire, melt, and steel. But in this game, it's like, you know, metal. No. Fire does nothing to it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Fire kills all materials. Look at that. Super bad ass loader. Like nothing taken down. I am a little bit uh, over leveled, but it is still the power of the pimper now. It's a dandy rack hail. That's the accuracy prefix. Don't really need a slag sniper though. Don't need a slag anything in a normal mode. Also, I have anarchy stacks. I just noticed that. That's probably why I'm also so OP. But still, pimper now. Pimper now. Alright, guys. Cross your fingers for something nice and pretty. In co op, four player co op, I get like. All cr kinds of crazy stuff. Ooh, quad. Or, uh, it's a Supreme or something like that. Enter your soul. I know it's resisting. I know, I know. It's okay. Once I got a bit and it fell through the floor, I was so, I was so mad. Die, little midget. I think that one I'll use the the hail on. Yeah, hail works a lot better. Come on, give us something. Oh, cool. I'll take that. Oh, guys, you know what's coming. Legendary! If you follow me on Twitch, you know why I do that. Well, in spite of that, uh, that purple gun. Because we got a legendary. Oh, look at my max health. It's almost at 60%. Right, let's see what we got on here. We got a Mali 1 grip. Uh, that's not really going to do much for us. Uh, stock wise, I can't remember what stock that is. I think that's Hyperion. I don't know. And I uh, believe, what's that? Sight-wise? I don't know. What is that? Sight-wise, I think that's TDR, to be honest. I don't know. I like the look of it, so it'll work. We got a slagger. Slagger. Glad we got something, though. I don't know if I'll come back and farm those loot midgets. I really don't see a need to. But, uh, oh well. Now I know what I'm picking, though. I'm definitely picking the Maggie uh, when I go and uh, do the... The Zafford side quest, the clan war stuff, because I already got a slag, no point now. No point now. We're going to go get a Maggie, and I'm going to love that Maggie. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love every second of it. You guys going to love every second of it with me? I know I am. I'm going to love it. Till the day I die. Or the day it becomes useless, then I'll probably toss it. But that relic, we got to toss that into the grinder. Probably should have done that Uh, an overlook when I was there, but I forgot. I just remembered now, so I gotta remember, guys. Guys, next time, uh, we're not, like, next, like, when this mission is complete, yell at me during the video. I will hear you. Um, yell at me to go grind this. Or at least remember for next episode. I'm gonna grind this stupid relic for making me die faster. This one right here. Captain Blade's auto idle. Making me die faster. Stupid curses. Why are you here? Too OP for you. Accuracy is a little bad, but oh well, close enough. My accuracy is close enough. Ha! <laughs> I did it! I did that! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, please stab me in the throat. So I don't do that again. <laughs> this is the only place you can see these, like, these electric stalkers, cyclone, typhoon, whatever you know them as. Um, I would like them to be uh, more in the map, to be honest. I know I could use Clean Engine to make them spawn all over this map, but uh, I'm not going to do it in a Let's Play video. I don't know, that'd be interesting to see how powerful these guys can be, like, swarming you fully from every angle in UVHM and OP8. I think it'd be something to see. I don't know. I don't know if I want to make Clean Engine videos just, just yet. At some point, you know my content starts to lack a little bit like like right now I don't know what what else like besides this let's play to record for you guys I, I don't I have no idea I, I really don't have a clue um I don't know, I don't know. 
part of me wants to do another one of those in-depth weapon guides. You remember that uh, from the blockhead? Probably gonna do one for the kitten, but I'm lazy. Also, that weapon parts guide. I have to do that. I've, I've attempted to record that multiple times, but I don't feel like I'm explaining it quickly enough and clearly enough. Like every time I look, I watch it back. I'm like, no, no, you're not doing this right, Flavjay. Do it again. Start again. Can we start again? Can you forgive me now? Uh, you guys want me to know that song? I don't know. Don't claim me. Don't claim me, YouTube. <laughs> no, they can't do that for me singing a song. That's not how the system works. Oh, part of me thought that was a chain lightning. I don't know why. I'm so used to it. On every character, I rock a chain lightning. Every character. No exception. There is no only exception here. You are not the only except. That's a that's another song reference. A little reworded, but oh well. No. He's dead. <laughs> Go to hell. Up. Oh, no, you're dead. You're going to hell. Or wherever. I'm not getting into that. But whatever. He's purple. Let's make everybody purple. Be purple with me! It'd be nice if when we get slagged our characters turn purple. Like completely, completely purple. That'd be amazing. That needs to be like a skin. It does. In-game character skin slagged. Be perfect. I wonder what Krieg's, what, uh, Krieg's uh, skin name would be for that. Everyone else's would be like slagged and his would be like, oh. I don't even want to know. Like, I'm Barney now, or something like that. I don't know. Whatever Krieg does. Whatever he thinks about. What do you guys think Krieg thinks about when he's not fighting? Like, when he's just alone in Sanctuary? What do you think he thinks about? Because he has to do something. If he's not staring at Maya all day, he has to be doing something. I wonder. Tell us, Gearbox! Let us know. Give us more story. We don't want Telltale to do that for us. No, no. It'd be nice. I wonder if the, uh... The Vault Hunters will be in there, in that little Telltale game. That'd be nice. Alright guys, the moment of truth. It's time! I did not get nearly uh, enough slag samples, but who really gives a crap? I think there are two in here, to be honest. I thought so, at least. Oh, here's one. Here's the other one. Yeah, I think I missed it. Can you can you assist me, sir? Sir? Sir, can you help? Sir? Can you help me? That's not how you help a customer. I buy Hyperion weapons too. There it is. For more X poodles. Irrelevant thing? I am murdering I mean rescuing Mordecai's bird. I cared about Bloodwing the first time it happened, the second time even. After that, it's just like, ah, you, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Terrible, Terrible person. I don't know. I'm not like sadistic or anything, but when I write, even with my own characters, I have the urge to kill so many of them off all the time. Only like two or three have that special place in my heart when I write that I would never hurt them, ever. But... All the other characters, fair game. I love killing off my characters. And then making my friends sad when they read them. <laughs> Come to me, birdie. I remember the first time I played through this game as a mecro, I tossed Death Trap out in this area. He completely annihilated Bloodwing before I had a chance to hurt her. I was like, why? It's like, Man, Dev Trap, you OP. Then we get to OP8, and it's like, oh my god, Dev Trap. It's like your melee damage doesn't even scale. <laughs> and it doesn't. It doesn't scale well in UVHM or OP8. <laughs> it really doesn't. Come on. Come, come. Alright, let's get ready. I think that was me. That was all me. That wasn't Dev Trap at all. 
Ow. Come on. Come back. Tranquila blood. This won't hurt. I promise. Uh, some of you may not know, but when her head is down like this, you could use her to get criticals off of and boost your badass rank. I don't know if I could uh, get one to pop up right here. This was never patched, and some of you may yeah see right there constructive criticism. Here I'll go and get a thousand, real quick. This was never patched or anything or nothing like that. It still works. It's always worked. Gearbox is probably too lazy to mess with it, but that's fine. I don't mind. There, see? Where we go? 50 badass rank. Can I get another no? No token. Explosive! That was really loud. That was almost like anime loud. Let's not do that again, Flair J. Sorry, headphone users. I apologize. I, I sincerely apologize. I was inside of you and your dead body. You hear me? Go Super Saiyan! Come on, go Super Saiyan! <laughs> right there! Imagine how epic it would have been if you see him like yell out and just a yell like lightning, like clouds disappear, lightning comes down, and he just like a big yellow beam comes out as all of his hair and his beard and stuff. He goes Super Saiyan and just flies over into the moon base and just Kamehameha's the crap out of it. Then spirit bombs the planet. <laughs> I would have been happy with the game. I would have been happy. Very satisfied with the ending if that was it. Even if it was, would make it a short game, I don't really care. That would have been epic. Epic. Part of me wants that, but nah. That it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I wanted more to get to go see, but no, he goes his own kind of Super Saiyan here in a second. Which I guess is cool, but Super Saiyans. Make, make us Super Saiyans. <laughs> Guys, you know you want to go Super Saiyan. All of you want to go Super Saiyan. All of you have attempted a Kamehameha <laughs> once in your life. <laughs> Some of you probably still do. I know I still do from time to time. And then my sister, my little sister stares at me like she doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> oh well. Come on, go Super Saiyan. This is, this is his super system. No, not super system, Super Saiyan. When, now, uh, some of you guys, uh, you know, you don't know Spanish. I don't know Spanish either, but when he says, Vete al Diablo, that means go to hell or go to the devil. And in slang, it means, it means, uh, F you. I don't know very much Spanish, Spanish at all, but I looked it up. So that's what that means, and I'd like a little bit more XP. I probably should have stole some kills from Mordecai off there, but we're going to get in a second anyway. See, I say this went rather well. I just blazed right through that. Got ourselves a slagger. Look at that slagger, so bird. It's not in my hand, though. Where is it at? Slagger, come to me, baby. There you are. Critical. Now oh, we got to go over here. Then we turn it in. Empty your soul. Do 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 do. Not you. I thought I didn't open this. I thought I m didn't open this on purpose. Oh well. Yes, you are, Master. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah! That's my Master for you. I'd be so devastated if he died. It's funny, because in Borderlands 1, I wanted to kill him. It was like, that DLC was like, die! Die, kill him! No, don't turn him back to normal. But now it's like, oh, Master, I love you. You, you the best. You the you the best the best I ever had. I'll stop. Flair J, you've attempted to sing three times this episode. Please spare us. Never forget the note. 
right, well, next episode, let's see, um... We got a skill point to spend, don't we? Yeah! Let's see, uh, where we stand here. What level is this episode? Am I getting back? No, still not back on level yet, story-wise. So next episode, I don't know, um... Hmm. Part of me wants to go back to the treasure room, but I'm pretty solid for gear right now. But the thing is, either way... I'll be solid for gear no matter what, because the, the mission isn't going to level up. It's already at, like, my level, like 25, I think. Hmm. And nothing really here is going to get replaced. I don't know if I want to go there or not. Or should I just go and do Brick's mission here? Hmm. Should I just go ahead and start a new DLC? <laughs> no, then I'd be way too overpowered. I don't know. Let's let me let me take let me take a look. See here. Part of me wants to try my luck at Iperius at this level, honestly. But uh, those Novas are what fear. It's it's not ma it's not like the fact of that I can't do enough damage. Just the fact of how much damage you can do to me. So we're we're definitely not gonna do that just yet. But hmm. I never destroyed the radio control panel when I killed DJ Tanner, did I? Wow, Flair J. Wow. So yeah. Um. Yeah, next uh, yeah next episode we're gonna do the the treasure room mission just so we can knock that out of the way as well get some more XP because why not and you know take con take uh take control of the treasure room so we're gonna raid the treasure room one more time guys one more time we got this but yeah um that's pretty much it I want to thank you all for watching I appreciate it goodbye sentimental value shotgun goodbye binary Eevee. um. But yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been episode 21 for the Lance 2 Final LP. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? Welcome. Welcome back to uh, episode what? 22? Yeah, 22. Borderlands 2 final LP. We're gonna knock this out. Just, you know, we can, we can take